I'm Aaron. Welcome to part two of the 2011 Urban Cycling Buyer's Guide. In part one of this series, we discussed what it takes to make an urban cycle truly dependable and comfortable to ride. So, what else is there? There are four types of bikes you should know about. Let's start with number one, the adult tadpole trike. Many of us probably think that tricycles are just for children. That third wheel provides the stability that the child lacks. Well, you'll be shocked to learn that tadpole trikes are built for even the fittest of athletes and they're readily available right here in the USA. The tadpole trike has one wheel in the back but two wheels up front. This is directly the opposite of what you might remember as a child on your little tricycle. Tadpole trikes are always very low to the ground and they are always in a recumbent cycling posture. The chief benefit of the tadpole trike is comfort and stability. You'll be able to ride your trike over ice and snow. When you stop at a light, you won't have to remove your feet from the pedals because you're not going to fall over. Overall, a trike will be faster than most other forms of cycling. But they do come with a downside. Because you're sitting so low to the ground, do you think that cars will be able to see you? Do you think that you will be able to see around other cars? Some people put flags on the back of their tricycle so that motorists can see a flag waving above your head. That helps, but it's not perfect. The Tadpole Trike is a pretty good vehicle for picking up groceries. You can add a panniers on the back. It carries the weight well. The only problem is once you're at the store, you won't be able to bring your tricycle in. You won't be able to push it around the star store and fill it up like you can on the Revive. But as long as you don't mind locking up outside, going in, getting your groceries and coming out and filling them up, it works great. Depending on your personal tastes, I could see how you could be much happier with a tadpole trike than anything else on the market. Its pluses can certainly outweigh its minuses. Now while most of the bikes I talk about are difficult to come by in the USA, the tadpole trike is an exception. A company named Terra Trikes in the USA has a wonderful line of tadpole trikes. I recommend looking at their Rover model. The Rover retails for about a thousand dollars and comes with an eight-speed internal gear hub. So now let's move on to cycle number two, the Velomobile. Imagine taking a tadpole trike and then putting a body on it made of either aluminum or fiberglass. What would it look like and uh, why would you do that? A tadpole trike with a body is called a velomobile. That's a French word that means pedal car. The chief benefits of riding in a velo velomobile is protection from wind, rain, and snow. Another nice benefit is it's the fastest thing on the road. The velomobile looks like a bullet on wheels. Its aerodynamic shape literally moves air out of the way. When running on flats and downhill, you can achieve car-like speed. Of course, going up a hill, you'll be much slower. You would not believe how much wind resistance there is on a traditional bicycle. The Velomobile removes all that. Generally, I can't recommend the Velomobile. The reason is that they're too expensive for single-person use. A Velomobile costs about 8,000 US dollars and you have to wait approximately four months for a factory to assemble them by hand. But then again, if you're a person that commutes every day to work and don't want to be bothered by rain or snow, it is a very good option. If you've got the money to burn, go ahead and buy a German-made Liebe Classic Velomobile, or look at the Netherlands for their Aero Rider. These are some of the best velo Velomobiles available. If you are handy, and like to tinker, I have a very exciting option for you. A company from the Netherlands called Dutch Speed Cycles has a DIY kit for a Velomobile that they call the KV4. This kit comes in boxes and is 0% assembled. 
you will have to build the frame and the body. It is 100% aluminum and is a beautiful machine. What you build looks like it came right off the set of the movie Tron. You will get endless enjoyment out of this curious and fun adventure. So if you have the inclination, I say go for it. This cycle costs about 2,300 euro and it is an incredible bargain. Next I want to talk about cycle number three, the bucket bike. The bucket bike attempts to solve the problem of how do you bike with your children and haul groceries. I'll get into it in a minute but first let's take a look at how most Americans deal with the situation. Typically Americans don't even consider going to get groceries on their bicycle but on the weekends many of us would like to take our children out with us to go on a quick jaunt. If your children are old enough they could have their own bike. You'll need to get bigger ones as they get older. You'll worry that they won't do something silly and you'll avoid traffic like the plague. You'll be limited to just clearly marked pathways and you'll have trouble socializing with everyone on their own bicycle. Many companies sell various accessories to address this issue in America. None of the options are very good, but let's consider them. A child trailer is relatively safe. It usually attaches to the back of your bike, but sometimes there's a side carrier that can attach to the side of your bicycle. The only problems I have with this is that your children aren't engaged in the ride. They're far away from you, it's hard to talk with them. Unless the trailer has sufficiently large wheels, the ride will be very bumpy. And unfortunately, only small, small children can ride in a trailer. A child seat fits on the back of your bike and looks like a car seat. It's good in that the child is much closer to you, but because they're behind you, it's still hard. You have to crane your neck around to double check on them. The biggest problem is that they're very high up in the air with no protection on either side. If you were to fall on your bike, even when you're moving at a slow speed, it's very common for children to break their arms, or worse. A tow bar gives your child a bit of engagement in the ride. They're able to help you brake and pedal. Some designs are essentially half a bike with just one wheel. Other designs take your child's existing bicycle and raise the front wheel off the ground. At first glance, this seems like a really good option for older children. What scares me about this design is that not only could your child put themselves in danger, but they can hurt you as well. If the child decides to break suddenly or start swinging from side to side, he could cause you to come down and crash. Because your child is behind you with no restraints, you'll constantly be wondering if they're still on the bike. So let's take a moment and discover what bucket bikes are and how they address these problems. The only readily available bucket bike in the USA is the Madsen Cycle. This bike isn't perfect, but it is 10 times better than all the alternatives we just discussed. The Madsen Cycle has a traditional bicycle geometry, but it is much longer. The large bucket is behind the driver. This bucket can seat four children, each with their own seat belts. I wish it was semi-recumbent. I wish it had drum brakes, internal gear hub, and a front hub dynamo. If it did, I would be a lot more excited. If your children listen well, you can make a rule that they must always keep their arms and hands inside the bucket. The bucket on the Madsen cycle is fairly low. If you were to fall over, and their hands were inside, not much would happen to them. An even better designed bucket bike comes from the Netherlands, a company named Work Cycles, with their extra long bucket bike. This bike sells for about 1,200 euro. It does come with an internal gear hub and a dynamo hub. Its bucket is even lower to the ground, and it has seating for three. Having the children up front is ideal. You can easily keep tabs on them while enjoying the ride yourself. The better components and upfront seating of the Work Cycles cargo bike makes it a much better alternative than the Madsen Cycle. 
No matter how careful you are, two-wheel bikes will fo fall over sometimes. It could be your own fault by just making a mistake. It could be a high wind coming by. It could be just children playing around. The only way to counteract this is if you add a third wheel. The Nehola family trike from the same work cycles company in the Netherlands addresses all these concerns. It has two wheels up front, one wheel in the back, and a bucket in the front for your children. It even comes with a canopy so that your children and your groceries never get wet. I think you'll agree that bucket bikes are an elegant solution to biking with children. They truly allow you to safely transport both children and food. Are there any downsides to bucket bikes? Well, your children aren't able to participate in the ride. And you aren't able to bike with your spouse. So this leads us to number four, my favorite, the family cycle. Call me crazy, but the ideal biking solution is something that can replace your car for more than 60% of the trips you make during the week. None of the other solutions can do this. A family cycle must have four wheels. People must sit in a configuration that's just like a car or a minivan. It must have seating for at least four in a side-by-side -side arrangement, just like a car, so you can chat and talk and carry on a conversation. It should have an optional third row seat with seating for three. This brings the total passenger count to seven, just like a minivan. Each person should have a safe and comfortable seat. Everyone should be able to pedal if they want and participate in the ride. Each seat should be individually height adjustable to tailor to the length and height of the rider's legs. If possible, each seat should have their own individual gear shift so that you can match the rider's ability. Generally, I don't feel bicycles need an electric assist. However, family cycle does. Sometimes you'll encounter steep hills. You might be alone or you might be with young children who really aren't old enough to help you pedal. In these situations, the electric assist will give you bionic abilities. You'll still have to pedal, you'll still get a workout, but you'll enjoy the ride and you'll be able to move at a fast clip. Family cycles that meet these requirements simply don't exist in the USA. I feel so strongly that we need them here that I built the chat and bike site so that we can import them. By placing group orders, we can combine shipping costs and start enjoying them today without having to outlay a large capital investment or marketing campaign. The Quattro cycle from the Netherlands is the ultimate family cycle. It has seating for seven and individual gears for four riders. It has a full car-like suspension. The seats are made of textiline and they lie in the recumbent position. This makes sure that they dry quickly and breathe well. They're simply the most comfortable seats on any family cycle. The Quattro cycle four-seater version sells for $4,995 shipped to your door. The GX01 from Guangxin in China is a great value. Its principal advantage is that it only costs $3,295 shipped to your door. That price includes a canopy, an electric assist with motor, batteries, and charger. Alone, the GX01 looks amazing, but when compared to the Quattro cycle, it falls short in several key areas. The seats are not as comfortable. Only the front two riders can shift gears. There is no third row option. The pedals are low to the ground and will at times come into contact with debris. There is no suspension on the GX01. The driver sits up in the front and the passengers are in the back. You can learn more about these family cycles at chatandbike.com. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please continue to part three of this buyer's guide where we talk about clipless pedals.